Hi everyone, I'm just about to fit this Hornby Class 66 with TTS sound and I thought because it's quite a popular model there'll be quite a few people who are doing similar things to it so I thought I'd do a video showing which speakers I use and different options for upgrading. Um, because of the type of model it is I don't think it's necessarily worth putting a lock sound 5 decoder in like I'd normally do. Uh, so I'm going to use a TTS decoder. Um, obviously these are a lot cheaper, I think it were about £36 or something. Um, but I'm going to upgrade the speaker because I still want it to sound as good as possible. I just don't want to spend sort of £120 on a sound decoder for it. So um, I'm going to show you some different options of which speakers you might want to use and the ones which fit in the space best. Um, so to start with I'll just take the body off. It's nice and easy because it just unclips. So you can see you've got plenty of space inside. It's really hot in here so this tape's come undone. The glue on it's probably just melted. Um, but yeah that's how the, speak the wires are held down anyway. Um, obviously it's DCC ready. Um, Space-wise, it's just a big empty shell, so you, you can really put whatever you want in there. Now, with TTS, you want to be making sure you use something that's 8 ohms. A lot of speakers, which I use usually, would be 4 ohms, but you don't want to use those with this. Um, so you've got the option of using these kind of things, which are like your, your mega bass type speakers. Um, this is the one that I've always used in the past because um, it fits nicely in the, the space on something like this. Obviously you just have to cut those off. You can either snip them off or use a cutting wheel on a Dremel or something. Um, you can fit that in easily obviously and that'll sound good. Plenty of bass, nice and loud. Um, but I want to try something different with this one. These are popular, and um, this is what's called the slab speaker. It's only just going to fit in terms of width, um, but I'd say it's slightly bassier than the normal mega bass, and it will still fit in if you look. Um, it'll have to face downwards, um, but the majority of that sound's going to escape through the, the gap where the um, bogey is anyway, where the motor end is. So that's another option, um, but because quite a few people have asked me about fitting EM2s into these, um, it's not something I've tried but one of my customers did and it sounded good, so I want to try it myself. So I'm going to put an EM2 in there, which will fit at that end, um, and that <coughs> I will do facing upwards, and obviously I have to cut these off. And I'm going to wire that in series. It's important you do this in series because if you do it in parallel, it will probably blow straight away. Um, and then at the other end, just um, somewhere over where the opening is, and I'll have to move these wires a little bit, tape them a little bit tighter maybe. I'm going to use one of these facing down. Um, and that should give a nice balance of... Um, well, bass and treble, so it should give the full range of sounds that you need and it will really bring out the most from the decoder. So, it might be a little bit extravagant for a TTS decoder um, but I do think it will be interesting to see how it sounds. So I'm going to go away and fit it all and then I'll come back and show how it all looks inside and uh, then I'll show you a video of it running around hopefully if it all goes to plan. Right, I'm back now. I've finished all the main installation and I've had a quick listen to it just to make sure it worked. Um, it sounded good, but I didn't actually run it. I just had a quick listen to make sure that the speakers were connected properly. Um, so what I've done, the EM2 is at that end where there's the most space. Um, I've sat that on some weights just to make it clear the pivot point for the bogey um, and it also helps it clear the wires as well. And then 
this speaker I've not attached yet because I'm going to attach it to the inside of the roof. Um, so it faces downwards over the bogey. Um, that's it really. I've insulated the decoder just with sellotape and I've just put a single piece of captain tape across it as well to hold it in place. It's not recommended to use too much insulation because um, it'll just make your decoder overheat and eventually if it overheats it'll burn out which you don't want. So next thing is to just complete the job I suppose. So I'm going to use a little bit of black tack um, which is similar to blue tack but it's a lot stickier. Um, it never really dries or sets or anything so if you ever need to take it back off in future it's ideal. Um, so I'm just going to put quite a big piece at each side of the speaker. Sort of a strip down each end like that if you can see. And then that'll push onto the roof um, and I'm aiming for being level with that opening. Obviously make sure you put the body on the right way. Easiest way to tell if you've not marked it or anything is to make sure the steps line up because at the other end there's a, a bigger gap so you'll know that if the steps don't line up you just need to turn it round. Um, that looks like it's back on. Yeah, oh, it is now. So it's all ready. Um, one thing I forgot to say is I added a little bit of extra weight just at the, well, both ends really, because of what held the speaker. But the most sort of important ones, I put a little bit of weight at the end where the, um, the powered end is because it's only powered on one bogey. Um, it's got traction tyres. Um, so they're usually okay for grip, um, but potentially in future I'll have a bigger layout where I'll be able to run longer trains, so I just wanted to make sure that it'll haul as much as possible. So yeah, I'm going to run it now and hopefully you find it interesting. If you do decide to have a go at upgrading your speakers, uh, they're all available on my website, so are the black tack and the heat shrink and captain tape and things like that that I've used. Um, so if you're interested, there's a, a link below now, and there's also a link in the description, so you can have a look. But yeah, hopefully it sounds good, and hopefully it comes across well in the video, and um, yeah, hopefully it's been interesting for people.